Hello. Hi. Yeah, thanks. Welcome to the Green Space. I'm Jennifer. I work here. Um, who's never been here before? Wow. Awesome. Welcome back to the rest of you. How did you hear about it? Warren. Warren. Okay. <laughs> Warren is on our marketing team now, in addition to playing the drums tonight. Um, just kidding. Well, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. Did you see the photographs on the way in? So, you know, Kia did those. So if you didn't already check them out and you didn't know, make sure you take a look on the way out. So another thing you should know, whether you've been here before or not, I want to tell you, we're part of New York Public Radio. So that's WNYC and WQXR. Do you guys listen to the radio, stream that stuff? Yeah? Cool. Well, everything that we do here is supported by our members. So if you're a member, give yourself a hand. Um, that is the single source of, the biggest single source of funding for everything that we do here, including events here in the green space. So thank you very much for being a part of that. I also want to thank Harlem Blue, which is our beer sponsor this season. If you're drinking a beer, hope you're enjoying it. Local brand, check it out. It's in stores near you too. And also Steinway for this beautiful piano that you're going to see played in just moments. So if you are a WNYC listener, you might think, what's up with having artist residencies? Why art? Aren't you guys about journalism? Well, we are. But this is a perfect example of where art and journalism come together. Because if you're not already listening to the podcast Blind Spot, produced by WNYC Studios, where you can hear Kia and Warren both on that podcast, um, you really should check it out. It's everywhere you listen to podcasts, you'll find it. It's called Blind Spot. The photographs on the way in are other people that are a part of that podcast. And so this is a, a harmonious, wow, I didn't mean to be so like on the nose with a music show, but a harmonious example of what can happen when journalists and artists come together and make something that's very much by and for New Yorkers. So thanks for being a part of it. Now, are you ready to start this up? The one last thing I'll ask, just because you, you reminded me by having your phone out, just silence your phone if you haven't already just to not disturb the show. But otherwise, feel free to take pictures without flash, enjoy it, have a great time. And here to start us off is Kia LaVeisha. Hello, beautiful house. The house looks beautiful, tan and blue. How's everybody feeling? Oh, yeah. thank you all so much for coming. This is my last event here at the green space as the artist in resident and i am very very proud of what we created tonight i will be introducing my brother ken michael and my father warren benbow they'll be playing live tonight and let me just explain how the night's gonna go so we'll have a kind of short live performance based on a recording that we made here upstairs at WNYC. Um, and then the rest of the night is kind of like a listening party. So we'll be playing the full length of the album we made last week here um, with some beautiful visuals. So you can get a chance to just really hear the project that we created. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that after the live performance. But I would just love to introduce to you my brother and my father to come out and play live for you. I can't believe this is happening. It's amazing. Come on. This is a dream come true.
And there's no place like Coney Island. Pistachio ice cream, the Wonder Wheel, and me, and my dad. cheese sandwich on cinnamon raisin bread smushed from sitting in my backpack just a little too long just the way I like it and when Ken comes home he'll be there too dogs and fries. There's no place like Coney Island. Best boardwalk in town. I'll be there. place like Coney Island.
Yes. Oh my God, amazing. Um, wow. So about a year and a half ago, I said to my brother and my dad over text, I want to make an album. And they were like, okay. I don't even think my dad responded to the text message. <laughs> but Ken was like, yeah, let's do it. So I was like, um, well, we can just, you know, get together for like a week or two. Ken lives in California. I'm like, come back to the house and he'll produce something on his computer. There's a, you know, like a little studio in Manhattan Plaza, which is where my dad lives. Woo, Manhattan Plaza, represent. Um, where I grew up as well. I see we have some Manhattan Plaza folks in here tonight. Um, and I said, you know, we'll just record Dad on drums in there and then we'll just put it together and it'll just be this thing that we made together. It's just like this beautiful project. Um, and then I got this residency like a year later and I'm talking to Jennifer and we're talking about all the things. She's like, yeah, in the recording studio upstairs. And I was like, in the recording studio upstairs? I was like, do you think maybe we can make an album? Do you think maybe that can be a part of my residency? And she said, absolutely. Um, so here we are. Uh, we had two days upstairs with the beautiful Irene who engineered this amazing music. And I think what I'm learning about myself as an artist is that one of the most important things for me in this time of my life is just creating space to be together. And those two days were blissful and beautiful and special. And we laughed a lot. We told a lot of very, very old family jokes. Um, and we also brought back a lot of my dad's music too. There were some pieces that I've just heard for years growing up that I was like, let's just remake that or let's play with that. And we made this beautiful project. Um, so now we'll be playing the project for you all to listen to and hear. Feel free to sit, enjoy, have a drink, um, and there'll be some visuals which are very um, sweet uh, recordings that my brother, see my brother can do a million things. Uh, he is not only a beautiful musician, but an actor. I don't know if you notice him from, you know, like all the things, you know, from the 90s. Um, amazing actor, technologist, artist, producer, filmmaker, all the things. And um, one of the things that I've learned about my dad on drums is that we're actually very similar as creatives, even though we work in different mediums. Um, working together with him, I've learned that we we share very much a creative brain and spirit. And my dad is not only just a musician and a drummer, but a seriously genius artist. Um, as we all heard tonight with that yeah. solo, because that was amazing. So I am so happy and pleased to share with you this album. Also, I was making a joke and I was like, well, my dad's last name is Benbow, my last name is Benbow. Ken's last name used to be Benbow, he's changed it a few times, but he is of the Benbow clan. And I made this joke and I was like, let's call it the Benbow Family Reunion Band. <laughs> and it was like this running joke and then, you know, when I needed to make up something for tonight, I was like, just call it the Benbow Reunion Band Concert. <laughs> um, so it's kind of funny that that's what it is, but it's also amazing and endearing. And before I play this for you, I just want to thank the Green Space for this amazing opportunity. I would like to thank Jennifer, Ryan, Ricardo, Christina, and also the team at WNYC, Emily, Lizzie, um, Irene, who engineered the beautiful project. I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. This feels like my speech for the Grammys, um, but they're not gonna kick me off because I have the mic. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, anyone else that also help be a part of this project. Kate, Kate also as well. Yes, that's what I was thinking in my head. Kate, um, so yeah, without further ado, enjoy the project, enjoy the rest of the night, have a drink, have a mingle, and thank you all.
like it. Yeah.
quiet, quiet, please. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Quiet, quiet, please. Quiet. <laughs>
Yes. Um, thank you so much for coming out and for listening. Um, my heart is very fulfilled. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my uh, former very small self jumping on the bed for like 10 minutes. Um, but yes, thank you all so much. This is such a beautiful project. And um, yes, it will be streaming somewhere where you can listen to it. And it will live in a space and it will live forever in my heart. And um, I was telling my brother that um, we made this beautiful thing and we're bound together by this physical sound forever. And it's our legacy. And yeah, so thank you all. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your evening. Also, all of that was filmed by my brother. I cut that all together. And also, uh, we are also singing on the track. And um, yes, just so you all know, that, that was our voices. We were singing. <laughs>